hi welcome back to another video uh we're doing a gel polish set today and it's a collaboration between myself and unpolished by aggie uh, i'll leave a picture on the screen um and i've chosen these chanel um glitter sequins so we had the choice of choosing something from day uh 15 yeah day 15 to day 24 so that's what I've chosen to use now I'm going to do two of the nails with this lovely nude color it's from Yayogi and it's 001 from the Peru brown series it's so nice it's like a sandy stone color I love it and it is a one coater, which is super duper. I love anything what's going to make and take one coat. Save a lot of money. And then I'm going to use this one from I'm Leaf, the other two nails. Uh, that's a red one, obviously, like I've just showed you. And that is 003. Um, this is a two coat one. But I do the second coat off camera just to save time. Right, these two red ones now have had two coats, so I'm going to um, put a layer. Sorry, <laughs> I was thinking, put a layer of base coat on. I don't even know what I was thinking about. Um, I've popped a couple of those uh, emblems in that tray. There was a couple of them which I'm sorting out now. They were um, one had got a crease in, and the other one had been misshapen where it had been cut different. But I picked a couple out because there's loads in the pot. I'm going to pop that one on the top half of the nail there, and then the other one is going to go at the bottom. And then I faff around for far too long straightening them up. I don't know what takes me so long. I was sat there ages <laughs> and anyway that's going to go into the lamp and be cured for 30 seconds and I'm going to go over with base coat again just to seal those uh, glitter sequins in because we don't want them sticking out or anything like that, Not a nice smooth surface. And then once I've done that, I'm just going to pop some uh, top coat over it. If you hear any noises, I'm so sorry. My dogs are all behind me, all sitting, waiting for something. I'm not quite sure what. Anyway, right. I've got these lovely Chanel stickers, which have also come from HCS Nail Art Supplies. I have cut out the word Chanel and obviously we're going to pop it on the top half of that. I'm, I'm so sorry I went out of shot. It's so awkward trying to put line stuff on when it's not directly underneath you. So I do disappear. I'm afraid it can't be helped. So sorry. Um, that's going to get covered in some top coat and then that one can go in the lamp then that is those two finished and a lovely smooth surface on it right onto this one we are gonna top coat both of these so we can get rid of that tacky layer I could have just wiped them over but I like top coating okay I'm gonna put some gold striping tape on uh, both these nails I'm going to put three lines at the bottom and then I'm going to put one line at the top and then I'm going to put another three lines in the middle. I've left plenty on the sides so that I can cut them off at a later time before I top coat. I'm sorry if I keep going out with shot, I had to put it right underneath me, like 
under my chin to make sure it was level. So I do go out of shot. So sorry. I did the other one off camera to save time. Just going to give those a quick press down now with that tool and then I'm just going to snip off those right down the side. I do leave a little bit on there only because I can go around the file, with the file sorry, uh, around the edges once I've top coated. Okay, I've got a bit of red on my palette and it's the same red that we used on the other two nails, which is 003 from Imely. I'm gonna do a slightly thicker line there. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do another red line between the striped tape at the bottom and the one in the middle. And then I'm gonna do a straight line down, uh, vertical off to the right hand side slightly so not central and then we're just going to pop those in the lamp to cure right now i had a bit of a mishap here because uh, once i cured those two lines i should have top coated and i didn't i actually went straight across the gold striping tape and it made it go all wonky so you don't see me do it in a second but I do actually wipe this off and restart from now and I also top coated as well in between it was only because like, obviously when you're doing lines the, on the opposite direction, it's a little bit bumpy. So I'm going to top coat now and then I just file around the edges quickly off camera and then do the vertical line down. This is a nice easy set that realistically anybody could do. If you haven't got a steady hand to do lines, um, which I haven't, but I, I did okay-ish. <laughs> you could use striping tape, just choose a different colour striping tape to do the opposite um, lines to the gold ones. Just getting rid of a little mistake. Okay, and then final top coat, and then the set's done. Done and dusted. Uh, just like to say Merry Christmas to everybody. Uh, please do like, subscribe and all of that jazz and then pop over and see Aggie to see what set she's done. I've not seen it yet so I'm going to go over myself and have a nosy. And yeah, I will see you in my next one. I've got a giveaway video coming out later so be sure to tap that bell and you'll get notified when I put it on. It's a good one as well, open to everybody. And yeah, Merry Christmas. Don't forget to pop over and see Aggie. Bye.